In this problem, we have a simple beam with length of 10 meters and has a uniformly distributed load, or Q, of 5 kN per meter of beam. In a previous video, we found that the max shear force for this case was 25 kN. The beam has a rectangular cross section and the dimensions are 0.5 meters high by 0.3 meters wide. We want to find the max shear stress on this beam. To complete this problem, we'll be using the term centroid, which is the center of area for a shape. This can be found using tables. And the neutral axis, which is a horizontal line that passes through the centroid of a cross section when subjected to pure bending or no axial force on the beam. We will be using the below shear stress equation, which I'll be going through each variable one by one. Recall from the previous video where I found the shear diagram for the beam the max shear force equation is Q, or distributed load, times the L, or total length of the beam, over 2. Plugging in our numbers, we get 25 kilonewtons for the max shear force. The A prime is the area below or above the point in question, or the area from the point in question to the outermost fiber. Our point in question is at the neutral axis because this is where the max shear stress happens, and the area will be the area above the neutral axis, which is base times height over 2 or half the cross-sectional area. Y bar prime is the distance from the neutral axis to the center of the area we just found. So in this case, it is the total height of the cross-section divided by four. If you were to be finding the shear stress at another point, you would take the area from the desired point to the outermost edge and find the distance to the centroid from the other centroid of the cross-section. The planar moment of inertia can be found using calculus or by using a table. In this case, which is a rectangle, the planar moment of inertia is the base times the height to the third power over 12. The final variable is the thickness, which for a rectangle has the same thickness across all points, which in this case is the base of 0.3 meters. Now that we have all of our variables, we can plug them into the equation at the bottom. We get a shear stress max of 250,000 newtons per meter squared, or pascals. Now if you're like me, you want to shortcut the process as much as possible. We can reduce this equation for the max shear stress to 1.5 times the shear force max divided by the area of the cross section. This is only for the max shear stress of a rectangle. For your reference and possibly a challenge, I computed the shear stress at a height above the neutral axis of 0.5 meters over 4. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.